It's Wild here and today I'm doing the ultimate updated CS2 glove tier list. Shout out to Amaim8 for suggesting to do one. Sorry if I butchered that name. Today's giveaway is a USPS traitor. And remember, I do daily giveaways on every video. So if you want a chance of winning, drop a like, comment, and make sure you're subbed with noties on so you never miss one. Winner will be picked tomorrow live on Discord. And the winner from yesterday's video will be in the pinned comment. So yeah, make sure you've joined. Link is down below. Anyway, onto the tier list. So guys, starting off, we have the Moto Gloves 3rd Commando Company. Yeah, the colors on these, I don't really like. I'll put them in C tier for now, but these could honestly go down. Next up, guys, we have the Sports Gloves Amphibious, which honestly are a really, really nice pair of gloves. The pattern's pretty cool on them. I would prefer them to be more like the Pandoras and just have a clean blue finish. I think they're still up there with one of the best pair of gloves. For now, I'll put them in A tier. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wraps Arboreal, which, I mean, kind of fit more of a theme of hand wraps, in my opinion. The colors aren't amazing, though. Actually, with the default IK, it's not too bad. I would put these in, like, maybe top of C tier. Next up, guys, we have the Sports Gloves Arid, which I actually think are a really, really nice pair of gloves. I'm not a massive fan of this DD pat pattern on the palm of the gloves, but when you're just holding regular weapons, I think they look really, really nice. And because of that, and the fact that I just really like blue, I'll put them underneath the amphibious gloves. Next up, we have the Hand Wraps Badlands. These, again, look pretty decent. I wouldn't say that they're like a top, top pair of hand wraps, but for now, let's just put them top of C. Next up, we have the Sports Gloves Big Game, and I don't know, guys, I'm not a massive fan of these. Like, even when holding pistols, they're kind of similar to like an Arid, but I just don't really like the pattern. They actually look pretty clean when you're holding a rifle like this. I would rather have a pair of Arboreals, honestly. I I'm just not a massive fan of them. Next up, guys, we have the Driver Gloves Black Tie, which I think look so nice in CS2. Like, they didn't look that great when the game first came out in beta, but since then, they have been updated so that the white color on them looks super, super clean. These have to be A tier, but it's just whether I put them above these. I'd probably put them above the Arid. Next up, guys, we have the Motor Gloves Boom, which, I mean, color-wise, I actually think don't look too bad. I'm not a massive fan of Motor Gloves in general. I'd still, honestly, only put them at, like, the bottom of C. Next up, guys, we have the Motor Gloves Blood Pressure, and on CS2, I really like the red color on these. But for me, yep, yeah, I'll put them as like a solid B-tier pair of gloves. Next up, guys, we have the Bloodhound Gloves Bronzed, and I mean, they look shiny, and if you like this kind of effect, then I'm sure you'll like them. When I'm holding a gun like this, I'm not a massive fan, but I'd put them in between these Motor Gloves because, yeah, I still prefer them over the third Commando Company. Next up, guys, we have the Sports Gloves Bronze Morph, which are funnily enough, the only pair of gloves that I've ever cased. I mean, look here, when you're just using a rifle like this, I actually really like the look of them. Or even when you're inspecting a knife, this actually looks really nice with the default butterfly knife. But I mean, yeah, the green bits on the back, I know it's cool and different, but it doesn't really go that well. I still don't think they're terrible mid C ish somewhere, like like probably here. Next up, guys, we have the specialist gloves buckshot. Yeah, I don't know. This brown and green, I'm not a huge fan of. Also, this pattern on the back, uh, I mean, it's okay, I suppose. But no, honestly, like I, I would say they're down here. I just am really not a fan. Next up, guys, we have the hydro gloves case hardened, which now now look, case hardens have been updated. These look really, really nice. The blue on them is really, really colorful. Now, let's just quickly look at the tier one max blue gems. Because if you guys didn't know, these case hardens now are actually pattern based. Whereas when they first came out on CSGO, they all looked the same. So these are the tier one blue gems. As you can see, there's a ton of blue on them, especially when you're holding a pistol or an AK. Yeah, you just see an absolute ton of blue. So now they're pattern based, in my opinion, it makes them a lot cooler. And I would honestly put them somewhere in A tier, just because again, guys, having that extra bit of rarity and making them more collectible is just a W in my opinion. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wraps Caution, which I'm actually a massive fan of. A lot of people don't like these because they just think they're a bit goofy, but it's obviously caution tape, so yeah, it's a cool concept in my opinion. And yeah, if, I don't know, if you had like a fuel injector or a yellowish skin, I think this would look really, really nice. I would put these in like B tier. Next up, guys, we have the Bloodhound Gloves Snake Bite. I'm not a massive fan of the like Hydro Gloves or, or Bloodhound Gloves type of style. And yeah, these colors, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. I'll I'll put them like here-ish. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wraps Cobalt Skulls, which I think are one of the best pairs of Hand Wraps. Like, the blue on them is just so, so blue. They're probably the best pair of blue gloves in the entire game, in my opinion. Obviously, it'd be cool if they were on, like, a different pair of gloves, because Hand Wraps, they're not the best, but yeah, I don't know. On CS2, these look super, super clean. I would probably put them around, like, maybe even here. Next up, guys, we have the Specialist Gloves Lieutenant Commander, and yeah, I don't know, guys, these colors, like, these pastely, like, green and yellow and blue. 
I'm not sure if they go that well together. I'm sure some of you will like them, but for me, yeah, I'm just not really feeling them. Let's let's move these down here. Like these are all D tier. I just I wouldn't want to use any of them really. And I'll rejig these so they're like that. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Next up, guys, we have the hand wraps constrictor, which I mean they make sense. Like they're obviously meant to be kind of like a snake skin pattern, and it's kind of cool because obviously snakes wrap around their prey, and these are hand wraps, so it's a cool concept. I'm just not necessarily sure. I'm a massive fan of the color of these. I'd probably put them around here in C. Next up, guys, we have the driver gloves convoy, which yeah, I just I'm sorry, guys. If any of you guys like these, then hey, fair enough. What even are these? I don't know why anyone would want to get a pair of these, but uh, yeah, I mean, hey, some people will like them. Nah, for me, honestly, yeah, these are like a, a D tier pair of gloves. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Gloves Cool Mint, which I mean, guys, I like the color blue. These are okay, but I just. Yeah, I don't know if I really like motor gloves. I'll give them a mid-ish C tier. Next up, guys, we have the driver gloves Crimson Weave, which I actually really, really like. I think as a decently budget pair of red gloves. I mean, obviously, we're not going off of prices, but yeah, they actually look really, really good. Some people don't like the brown on them, but I think with red and this kind of gold thing on the sides, I think they go pretty well together. Let's put them in top B. Next up, guys, we have the Specialist Gloves Crimson Web, and I actually really, really like this pair of gloves. Like, the underside look really nice. When you have a pistol out, it looks really good. Same as when you get out a rifle. Just overall, an absolute W pair of gloves. Oh, and these ones I'm looking at as well are the tier one pattern. So yeah, they're completely symmetrical. And yeah, these webs just look absolutely insane. Obviously, not all of them look that cool. But I still think the fact that they're pattern based and the red looks really, really nice now. I would put them somewhere up here in A. Probably actually above the blue gems. Just because I actually really like specialist gloves. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wraps Desert Shamag. I don't know, guys. Like, what, what are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments. But I don't really think these are that good. They're like C tier. Like, I'd probably put them here. Yeah, they're not that great. Next up, we have the Driver Gloves Diamond Back, which, I mean, guys, just... No, I'm not a massive fan. Like, the colors. I mean, obviously, it's meant to be like a snake pan, but no, nah, I mean, they're like D tier for me. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wraps Duct Tape. Horrible, honestly, in my opinion. But I kind of like the idea of them because, I don't know, like, you know, you're just wrapping up your hands, chucking a bit of duct tape on to uh, kind of secure it all. And yeah, I like the concept. Yeah, I mean, they're not great. You know what? I'll give them like a C tier above the Desert Shamag because they've got a bit of character behind them. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Gloves Eclipse, which, I mean, they actually look pretty clean. As I say, though, I'm just not a massive fan of the shape and look of the Moto Gloves. So yeah, they're very clean, but I don't know. They're just a bit boring. Honestly, yeah, I'd give them like around a C tier. Next up, guys, we have the Specialist Gloves Emerald Web. And just like the Crimson Webs, these are a symmetrical tier one pattern. And yeah, the webs on these look absolutely insane. I also really like the green color on CS2. Like it just looks far better in my opinion than on CSGO. So yeah, overall, these are absolute W pair of gloves. And yeah, for me, sit at like the top of A, if not potentially S tier as uh yeah they're probably like the best pair of green gloves next up guys we have the hydro gloves emerald which i think you know as like a green pair of gloves they're kind of nice and very minimal as i said though i'm not a massive fan of the hydro glove style i'd put them like top to mid of c maybe like here or actually actually let's just put them top of c next up guys we have the specialist gloves fade which i mean yeah these are just a random pair so you can get different fades but yeah i think they're really really good obviously if you have a fade knife then yeah these look even better but the blue firstly just looks so much better than on csgo so yeah honestly i'd put these in like mid to top of A. Next up, guys, we have the Specialist Gloves Field Agent, and honestly, as a combo, I mean, blue and yellow don't look too bad together. I just, I don't know if I'd pick them as a pair of gloves, and I can't really think of what they'd go that well with. They are like a top C. Probably like here, and then actually, I would probably move these above these. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Gloves Finish Line, which I think are a really cool concept for a glove, but the actual turnout of them, like, I don't know, they were just better green gloves. But if you like the racing theme of them, then yeah, I'm sure you'll like them. I'd put these in like mid C, Next up, guys, we have the Specialist Gloves Forest DD Pat, and I mean, just, just, I mean, I mean, guys, no, just, just, just no. I'll put them top of, top of D-ish. Next up, guys, we've got the Specialist Gloves Foundation, and I mean, yeah, they're pretty clean, and it's nice to have a glove with some orange on, but I just really don't like the pattern that just is literally text saying Specialist. Obviously, when you're holding a rifle or a pistol, I mean, actually, when you're holding the pistol, you can actually see the text, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not a massive fan. It just looks very kind of tacky. I mean, the torture, it kind of fits it. It could be like a brand or like part of the gloves but yeah the other text this specialist text on it just i don't know i really don't like it so yeah for that reason i'll put it like yeah i'll put it like here next up guys we have the hand wraps giraffe which i mean hey it's a cool design but uh i don't know i'm not a huge fan of it like it doesn't really go with much and honestly because of that i'll put it in like mid c next up guys we have the bloodhound gloves gorilla and i mean these 
kind of just look a bit basic. Like the red is kind of nice on them. And of course, the gold color isn't bad, but I just, I don't know, this kind of like foresty, browny kind of design. Yeah, I'm just not really feeling it. Yeah, I mean, sorry, but it's a detail. Next up, guys, we have the Sports Loves Hedge Maze, which I think look absolutely amazing on CS2. Like, green skins in general have just had such a massive upgrade. And yeah, just overall, this pair of gloves looks absolutely insane. Now, I wouldn't actually put this above any of these because, as I say, these are pattern-based. And I still do think the Emerald Web have the best colors. They're definitely like an A tier, and I'd probably put them... They'll probably end up like mid-A tier. Next up, guys, we have the Driver Gloves Imperial Plaid. And yeah, these look absolutely insane, especially for the price. I know we're not including prices, but yeah, if you want like a good budget purple pair of gloves, then uh, these are the pair to go for. Now, you can obviously get the patterns, but I don't really feel like it makes much of a difference. Of course, it's nice to if you have a symmetrical one. But honestly, I'm going to put these in like mid-A. Next up, guys, we have the Broken Fang Gloves Jade, which I remember on CSGO, I really, really liked these. And uh, yeah, it hasn't really changed for uh, CS2. I still think they're a really solid pair of green gloves. Now, obviously, the emeralds and just the gamma dopplers in general at the moment look pretty different. So they would be the knives that you're going to get a pair of these with. And yeah, the shades are kind of different. So I don't know. They're kind of not as desired. I still think, though, they're a decent pair of gloves. And for that reason, I'd put them in like the bottom of B. Next up, guys, we have the Driver Gloves snow leopard and when it comes to clean pairs of gloves you really can't go wrong with a pair of these like they just look absolutely insane obviously we'll get onto another very clean pair of gloves very very soon but yeah i'm a massive fan of these i'd honestly say these are probably yeah up there with one of my favorite pairs of gloves next up guys we have the driver gloves crimson kimono which are probably like the best red pair of gloves when it comes to like having a knife out obviously these are the tier ones so that's why there is just a ton of red on the back of these now some people will complain that Obviously, when you have like a pistol out or when you have a regular weapon out, a regular rifle out, you don't really see much red. Like, especially here, like they just, they could almost be default gloves with a little red strap. But I don't know. I think, honestly, most of the time you're going to be having your knife out. So, yeah, you see a lot of this. And I mean, it's just so cool that there's so many different unique patterns. But then also, if you have a pistol, you do see quite a bit of the red. These have got to be an S tier. I'm going to move these up to S tier as I would say these are the best red, these are the best green. And then we have like the second best red and second best green. Next up, guys, we have the Driver Gloves King snakes which i mean hey these are very similar to the snow leopards and yeah because of that guys i absolutely love them like they're just so so nice now obviously just like with the snow leopards you do need to get like a super nice clean factory new pair for them to look like this so that does suck a bit but i'm just going off what all the fact new versions of each of these gloves look like yeah i mean yeah these just i don't know i think they're arguably one of the best pairs of gloves in the game i do actually prefer the snow leopards but i put both of these in like a high a tier because they're both pretty much the same pair of gloves it's just whether you like the snake pattern or the leopard pattern more next up we have the hand wraps leather and i mean i kind of feel like this is unfair after the previous gloves that we've just been looking at because now this just looks super underwhelming but actually with like a default ak here these don't look too bad but i mean that pretty much sums these up like they're pretty much like a default pair of gloves i mean you could argue they're pretty clean um so i, I feel like th these could be d tier because low-key they're cleaner than some of these maybe i'd put them here like with the duct tapes next up guys we have the driver gloves luna weave and honestly in cs2 these do look a lot nicer like the blue color i don't know i just yeah i feel like it looks better than it did on csgo but it's still kind of a bit of an odd blue and for that reason i'd put them at like the top of c somewhere next up guys we have the hydro gloves mangrove which uh no guys i just i don't like them that's like an easy d tier next up guys we have the specialist gloves marble fade and yeah the underside of these look absolutely insane and even like the top side guys like with the cs2 lighting this marble fade effect on the back looks really really nice and when you're holding weapons like it doesn't look too bad um yeah actually here with the rifle you can still see the red underside of the gloves so yeah, really, really nice pair of gloves. I'd personally put these in like the middle of A somewhere, probably just above the fade gloves. Even though I really like fade gloves, I do think the underside of these just take it. Like if we could have the fade gloves with this kind of red underside, then oh, that would be perfect. Next up, guys, we have the specialist gloves mogul, which actually like the underside of these look really, really clean. But the back of these gloves just no, nah. like these are factory new as well, guys. And I don't know, I'm not a massive fan. Like when you're holding pistols, you see it. Obviously, when you're holding guns like this, actually looks looks pretty nice. I'll just about give them a, a low B. Next up, guys, we have the Broken Fang Gloves Needle Point, which look really dark on CS2. Like, obviously, it's this kind of, like, metallic effect that's on the gloves. But yeah, I mean, they kind of remind me of the Jades, um, but just a red version. I'll actually put them above the Jade, because I do actually think in CS2, I prefer them. Next up, guys, we've got some default gloves. Uh, sorry, I meant the Sports Gloves Nox. Um, I, yeah, guys, like, honestly, I'm not even kidding. When I put these on, like, I had to double check if I even had them on, because, I mean, 
guys look at them. Of course, they're clean, they're nice, they're sports gloves, but I just don't understand why anyone would buy these when you could literally just use default gloves. Obviously, on CT side, you do have the more like chunkier stranger gloves. So yeah, maybe that's why people would buy them, but I just think it's a complete waste of money in my opinion. Now, would I prefer them over a bunch of these gloves? Yes, I'd honestly prefer them over these and, and maybe even these because they are still just clean. But I mean, yeah, mid B, I think I'm being very generous here. These could be like even worse, but honestly, they are pretty nice and clean. So yeah, they're somehow, somehow getting a mid B for me. Next up, guys, we have the Sports Gloves Omega and oh my days, these look super nice. Like these are like Nox, but just with a little bit extra. I mean, okay, they're not exactly like Nox. Like if we look at the back, they have a completely different you know, grayish design. But yeah, they just look super, super clean. And like with a fuel injector or something like that, these would look absolutely insane. For me, these have got to be an A tier. So I'll put them like mid-ish to the bottom of A tier. Like they're, they're really, really solid. These are actually the tier one polygon pattern, which is like the most sought after pattern, which I just absolutely love because I mean, yeah, the designs look really good. You got the arrows and then you kind of got the uh, flowery type diamond things below it so it's hard because i really like the shade of the cobalt skulls but honestly just the fact that it's like pattern based like it has to be like mid-ish a tier for me next up guys we have the driver gloves overtake and i don't know i feel like these are like the uh driver glove version of the omegas uh, i don't know the the kind of brownie color on the back of them mixed with the yellowy orange color i mean it kind of goes but i just don't really like it. Yeah, I'd say like mid P. That's fair enough. We now move on to the Sports Gloves Pandora's box, which I mean, guys, just look at this shade of purple. Obviously, these are factory new, so they look absolutely insane. But even when you're holding the pistol, you see a bunch of purple. When you're holding a rifle, you see a bunch of purple. Like, they just are the best pair of gloves in the game, in my opinion. I'm also a massive fan of blue and purple and those types of colors. This is just a clear top of S. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Gloves Polygon, which, considering I don't really like Moto Gloves, the Polygons, I think they get a bit of a pass. Again, maybe that's just because I like the color blue. And obviously, this shape, like, it just looks very strange when you're holding a pistol. But when you're holding a rifle, like this looks pretty fine in my opinion and all the polygons on them i mean they look pretty cool i would put them kind of next to the blood pressure yeah pretty much join here at the top of b next up guys we have the moto gloves pow which i mean hey it's cool like it does fit the pow theme but the colors they actually don't go too badly together yeah i'd probably put them around like this level like they're better than these for sure they're like mid mid c next up we have the driver gloves queen jaguar which i mean i just i don't know guys the color for me it really doesn't look that great it's almost like a greeny yellowy and when you have other options i just yeah i don't, I don't know why you'd go for these i've put them top c because they're still kind of cool with the leopard print but as i say i i'd much prefer the snow leopards next up guys we have the driver gloves racing green and yeah this is just another other pair of gloves which i just really don't like the color of them i don't know like i didn't really like them on csgo and they haven't really been upgraded on cs2 in my opinion yeah i'll put them at like the top of d i just next up guys we have the hydra gloves rattler and <laughs> it's just another pair of gloves which i really really don't like guys like it just yeah it, it's not for me yeah again they're like d tier next up we have the driver gloves raise and the red which i do actually think on cs2 these have slightly been upgraded due to the colors very very slightly though like it's not been a massive upgrade and over Overall, I mean, the pattern on the back, it's not the best, but yeah, I think they're not too bad of a glove. Mid B, I think that's that's fair now. Next up, guys, we have the Sports Glove Scarlet Shamag, which I actually think look insane. Like, I don't know, guys. I feel like these gloves kind of under the radar. But yeah, they look incredible. Like, I mean, the pattern, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but the actual color of them, like when you have a pistol out or when you have a rifle out, like, yeah, it's just really, really popping. And overall, it's just a really underrated pair of gloves. I'd honestly be tempted to even put them into A, guys. Yeah, for me, I'd put them in like bottom A here. I think they're really, really nice. Next up, guys, we have the Hand Wrap Slaughter, which overall, I think, again, are a really, really nice pair of gloves. I think on CS2, the lighting as well, it doesn't look too bad with them. It hasn't necessarily upgraded or downgraded them but yeah overall w pair of gloves i'd put them top b next up guys we have the sports love slingshot which i mean okay the underside of these looking at them when i'm inspecting this butterfly like yeah i'm not a massive fan but the top side look absolutely insane and when you're holding like a pistol or when you're holding a rifle you see a lot of this really bright red color now i would still put them underneath the crimson kimonos just because there's all the patterns on the crimson kimono but they are honestly one of the nicest pair of gloves in the game especially if you have a talon knife with them like certain knives 
knives. The handle goes perfectly with them. So yeah, absolutely W pair of gloves. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Glove Smoke Out, which, uh, I mean, they're kind of clean, I suppose you could say, but I mean, they're Moto Gloves. And as I said before, guys, I'm not a massive fan. Like, look at this. Like, this just really doesn't look great. And I mean, looking at this side, I mean, if you like Moto Gloves, I'm sure these would be pretty high in the list because, as I said, they are clean. But for me, uh, it's probably, I think, honestly, yeah, they'd go like around about here. Like, next up, guys, we have the Moto Glove Spearmint, which I actually think are a really nice pair of Moto Gloves. Like, they're super clean. The colors are super nice on them. And honestly, I like the Fire Serpent, and these look really, really nice with the Fire Serpent. I'm not going to take that into account, though, because that is just me being biased. But yeah, I mean, even still, just on their own, they're nice, they're clean, the colors go really well together. I'm not going to say they're like cracked out like S tier, but I would say they can comfortably go in A tier. Um, yeah, that's the arid. Probably just above the arid. Next up, guys, we have the hand wrap spruce DD pat. And yeah, I mean, just no. Honestly, I just don't like the DD pat pattern. I'll put them at the top of D considering their hand wraps, and I don't mind the hand wraps, but they're honestly probably the worst pair. Next up, we have the Sports Love Superconductor, which I mean, the bottom side of these look really, really nice, but then the top side, I don't know. I feel like these are just a bit too boring. They are very clean, and I think if you have a Vulcan, then yeah, of course, these go really really well with it but i mean as gloves i mean they could be better they're still one of the best pairs of gloves in the game i'd say but i just think that considering we now have a lot of new gloves with a bunch of different colors and patterns these uh have definitely been downgraded and are kind of just held up by the uh palm side of them so uh yeah i'd probably put these at like the bottom of a still because they are really really nice but yeah, they're kind of like, I don't know, there's just better gloves out now. Next up, guys, we have the Specialist Gloves Tiger Strike. And I mean, for an orange pair of gloves, like, these look really, really nice. The colors match pretty well, and I mean, obviously, it's meant to be like a tiger, so yeah, the theme kind of goes with what they've done. And yeah, when you have regular guns out, you see a lot of orange, which is really, really cool. Yeah, I, I think I think top of B is fair enough. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Gloves Transport, and I mean, we're Valve trolling when they put these in the game, guys. Like, they just... I don't know, they kind of give me like CT vibes, like the old CT love vibes. And yeah, I mean, I don't really like the color. I don't like the shape or the look of them. They're just the L pair of gloves, in my opinion. Now, looking at the D tier, there are a lot of trash gloves here. So, honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll be really kind. And, uh, yeah, you know, no, I'll put them second because I prefer hand wraps over these, even though these are terrible. I just really don't like them. I know that, like, you could say that the knocks are kind of like T-sided default gloves, but at least they're kind of blacked out and look clean and kind of go with any knife that you have or any skin that you have. Next up, guys, we have the Moto Gloves Turtle. And, guys, to be honest, these were a big, big favorite of mine, like... I think they go really, really well with the Wild Lotus. And uh, even though they're Moto Gloves, like the green goes nicely, the orange goes nicely. They're like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle gloves. And yeah, overall, they don't actually look too bad, in my opinion. I would probably put them above here and maybe swap these as well. Next up, guys, we have the Broken Fang Gloves Unhinged and what the hell have they done to these gloves, guys? They haven't fixed these. These still look really, really gray. And these are factory new as well. So these should be like blacked out and almost look like default T-sided gloves with like the spiky kind of design on the back. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe they go a bit with this kind of like vanilla knife look. But no, I still, I just really don't like them. And uh, yeah, I mean, guys, I think you can guess where I'm going to put them. Yeah, that's straight into like the middle of D tier. Now for the second last pair of gloves, guys, as you can see, we have the Sports Gloves Vice, which in my opinion are one of the best pairs of gloves in the entire game. Like they're just super bright, super vibrant. And I mean, yeah, they go with quite a few skins. If you've got like a fade knife, they look really nice with those. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest, guys, they're my second favorite pair of gloves in the entire game. For the final pair of gloves guys we have the broken fan gloves yellow banded which uh i just don't know guys i feel like there are other options if you kind of want like a yellowish pair of gloves these don't look absolutely terrible but no i mean i wouldn't pick them personally if i was going for like a yellow themed loadout i think we could arguably put the desert shamags at the top of d because they're really not that great and then i'd be happy to put these in like mid c but let me just really quickly go over this tier list all right well there you go guys i've kind of tried to level it out a bit more put a few more skins in s tier because honestly i mean these the crimson webs are sick because again they're pattern based you can have some really cool finishes on these and then obviously same with the case islands i just wish they were on a different glove but still super sick that they They've now added that in. I wonder if it'll stay. Let me know in the comments if you think it will. And then, I mean, yeah, these are just like the budget Pandoras, which, I mean, yeah, they're S tier still, I think. I mean, maybe I'm overrating them a bit, I suppose. Like, I could maybe do that. And then these, I just really like the clean white gloves. Like, if you're using them with like a print stream or something, like, 
yeah, these are just super, super nice, and the patterns look really cool. The Cobalt Skulls, in my opinion, best blue pair. Overprints, I think these definitely top out A, just because a bunch of patterns, and they look amazing with the CS2 lighting. I think some people will be annoyed about these, but I mean, I don't know. I just don't really like the pattern on the back of them, but that's just personal preference. I think, yeah, this kind of makes sense. And then if we just go down from this, I think, yeah, I think personally for me, at least in my personal opinion, this is the ultimate updated glove tier list for CS2. If you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord to vote on tomorrow's giveaway. And if you want to watch my updated AK tier list for CS2, click the video on your screen right now.